everybody, it's me, Jimmy B, coming at you live from the Dummy Blog Studio here in Orlando, Florida. I have a awesome puppet to show you today. I haven't seen it in person, of course. I've only seen it in photos during the uh, negotiation process that occurs before any puppet goes from its original owner or current owner to me here in the Dummy Blog Studio. I appreciate all of you guys who have puppets that need a new home uh, contacting me and offering your amazing uh, puppets up uh, to come home and live here at the Dummy Blog Studio. I do uh, use these puppets, um, some of the puppets a lot, some of them uh, not that much, but when I give tours of the Dummy Blog Studio to other ventriloquists, I tend to go around the room and pick up each uh, puppet or several of the puppets and um, animate them and, and do a little shtick. So it's a lot of fun and um, I, I love giving tours. Lots of puppets here to look at and it's, uh, it's, not a short, it's not a short jaunt through the art and artistry of ventriloquism up here. Without further ado though, I have a box. Actually, I have two boxes. One with the body, one with the head, and we are going to unbox the body first because, you know, the head is always the, the grand, uh, the grand daddy of it all. You always want to see what that head looks like, what those mechanics can do. And look, look, look what we got here. We've got a magnet. We've got some, ooh, these are my, I like these. They're fun to pop. We got the little bubble wraps. We got some, okay. Here's a. Here's one of these. I've been wanting to show you one of these. I, I had a insole figure in another unboxing video that I did recently, and that had both a spitter and a smoking gimmick, and you would use these rubber bladders, these rubber uh, ear syringes, hook up tubing from here to the back of the head, and you can make it spit, or uh, cry, or smoke, or a whole host of other animations with these things. This is going to be important in just a minute. I'm going to place that down. And this is, you know, frankly, this body uh, is unlike any other body I have in my collection. And you're probably wondering why. It's just a ventriloquist dummy body, and that is true. But it is a very special ventriloquist dummy body. And I will show you here in a moment why that is. Ta-da! Look at this. Look at this. You've got some martial style hands. Uh, these... Hands right here. And you've got a jacket and it's got a wooden, it's a wooden body inside. It's wooden dowels um, with the butt plate, wooden shoulder um, piece here that actually has been uh, sanded, cur sanded smooth and curved to the top to give the shoulders a bit of a uh, uh, slope downward, which is much, which is makes it, gives it a natural look. Um, it's got uh, sewn fabric joints at the knees to give them a little bend. You can make them sit like that. And in the back here, there is some, oh, this is actually a fiberglass uh, piece at the top that creates this shoulder slumping. So this is a cast fiberglass piece that goes on top of the wooden dowels to create the top of the body. Now you will notice um, on this body that he's got kind of a bulge in the jacket here. It's not quite natural. And that's uh, for a good purpose. This puppet is actually a backup copy of a figure used by a famous ventriloquist, a buddy of mine, his name is Kenny Warren, and his one of his uh, his main figure at the time, Leroy Cool, the figure's name was, 
Um, he did several TV appearances with him on the Robert Klein show and others. You could probably catch that video of Kenny on the Robert Klein show on uh, thedummyblog.com if you go there and search. Uh, but in that bit that he did, Leroy is a ventriloquist and inside his jacket he has his ventriloquist dummy. Now there were different iterations and paint jobs on the original uh, Leroy's dummy dummy, but this one is made out of a little Jerry Mahoney head. And you can see from inside the body, I, there's a lever and you can go, hello, how you doing? <laughs> yes, I'm a dummy dummy. So that's really cute. Let me see if I can come close and show you uh, this body it might be difficult uh, there's the body you can see let me see you can see the inside there's a lever right the jacket out of the way let's see <laughs> jacket keeps getting in the way here let me pull it down look this way okay let's see it was much easier when christy was doing the video taping okay because I'm trying to look at my watch and sh see what I'm showing you at the same time. Here is a lever. And that makes the bot that makes the mouth move. This is the fiberglass piece here and the wooden dowels. And there is the dummy attached to the body. Okay, that is the body. And check this out. This is Kenny and Leroy together. That's awesome. Super excited to have that. I love, love, love displaying ventriloquist figures in the collection here, in the studio, with historical photos of the, of the puppets being used by the original events. It's so cool. I have several of those here. And I just love those displays. All right, now I'm gonna take the dummy body and sit it behind me there because we're gonna bring, oh. Now I said to you, this is not the photo, the, the figure that was in the photo I showed you of Kenny and Leroy. This is a duplicate, a backup. Anytime you have a ventriloquist puppet that you actually, a professional actually uses regularly, you need a backup just in case anything were to happen to the original puppet or it needed to be sent for repairs or repaint, anything like that. You have a backup copy that you can use for your shows. This is one of those backups. Now this backup was made by none other than Greg Clausen. Now Clausen, as many of you know, if you're into this kind of thing, uh, makes, you may have heard the name, he's the guy that makes the absolute best McElroy figure replicas. He wrote the book on it, literally, and his work is amazing. So this is not a McElroy replica. This figure was actually originally sculpted and made by figure maker Ray Gwell. And packing peanuts. Gotta love them, not. All right, here, I'm just gonna pull it out. And now we'll make a mess, I'll clean it up later. So we've got peanuts, we've got bubble wrap. This thing is well packed. So I have no doubt that this figure is in good shape and we don't have to worry. I'm gonna use the scissor. If I need to, I try not to, if I don't need to. Um, most of the time when I'm working with these things, I use a, it's a, uh, like a box cutter with a ceramic blade that doesn't really cut uh, you or most things, but it's really good at cutting open boxes and tape. Let's see here, get this stuff off. Oh, look at this. You know, mark of the pro here. This figure is wrapped up in microfiber cloths. 
to protect the head, the face, the paint, the stick, and everything else you might imagine. Okay. There he is. No, just kidding. I'm gonna show you the face. Ta-da, there it is. There's Leroy right there. Take a look at him. Oh my gosh, oh, that is such a cool looking face. Wow, that is a cool looking face. So this figure has closing eyes. He has permanently crossed uh, eye here to kind of give him a, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to call it a dumb or looking out into space, kind of spaced out kind of look. Um, his eyes also kind of have a, a um, wide eye kind of animation. Like that. He has a moving mouth here and has a stick out tongue. Look at that. And this figure also has, um, right here, this is the crying feature. It has two small holes here on the inside of the eyes. The interesting, the insole I showed you the other day had a crier, but those were, were on the outside and stuck out much further than these tiny little um, ones here. Let me see, I'm gonna come closer here with this so you can see this close up. Ooh, don't wanna get too close, here we go. All right. Can, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now you can see that face real good. Now here, really in the corner you can, is where the Water comes out for the crier. Here's the tongue. Closing eyes there. It's a really nice. Look at the stick. I'll show you these mechs, um, these levers. This is here, is the mouth, and then you can, it grabs both for the tongue. You open the mouth, and then you do the tongue here. Look at that. Boom. Um, and then this is the closing lids. And again, that bladder would hook up to this little um nub there with some tubing you could put it right over that if you want you just have a bulb right there and um and that's what operates the uh crying eyes use that water feature the bulb connected here to this brass tube in a uh, exorcist like moment in his act where leroy's head would spin around 360 degrees and water would be shooting out from the eyes well it's spun. You know, that's a, a, a cool bit and uh, surprising. Gets a big reaction from the crowd. Um, so now we have Leroy's head back on his body. And uh, we've got the uh, mouth movement. We've got the stick out tongue animation. Uh, and uh, we've got the closing lids here, which is always nice. And they go wide here. Ooh. Yeah, so that's cool. And you can do... Uh, I can do all of them like that. Um, and then, of course, you got the little guy right here. So um, let's see if we can do something with this. Let's, you know, let's see. Let's see if I can get this going here. So uh, I'm Jim. I'm Leroy. Little guy. So I'm Jim. I'm Leroy. Little guy. So we've got three of us. I'm the ventriloquist, the dummy, the dummy's dummy. So, the ventriloquist, the dummy, the dummy's dummy, yeah. So we've got three distinct personalities, three distinct characters, three distinct voices going on here when you do a dummy's dummy act. I've never had a dummy's dummy body here at the ventriloquist, uh, in the, my ventriloquist collection, so I'm really excited to have this figure with this body and this uh, feature. Uh, it's a popular act in the ventriloquist community to have a dummy that does ventriloquism with his own little dummy. Um, it's been used going back um, years and years and years in the history of ventriloquism. It's, it's, a, it's one of those standard bits that uh, some vents use. Isn't that right? That is correct. Correct. Was that, did you have your mouth open the whole time? I don't know. I don't know either. Well, I didn't.
Maybe I did. Okay, so there they are. That's Leroy Cool. Mechanics and this reproduced cast by Greg Clausen. The original sculpt was done by Ray Gwill. An amazing, cool, and unique face on this guy. And I believe this body was made by Austin Phillips. That package right there is a home run. Super glad to have this in the dummy guy. Studio collection here. I am the dummy guy, Jimmy B. Remember, always like, comment, and subscribe on these videos if you like it. Please share it with other people so that we can grow our viewership here at the Dummy Guy, uh, the Vent Dummy channel. I appreciate it. Got more unboxings, got more cool dummies, got more funny videos coming your way, and my special surprise book launch coming at you really soon. So until next time, you stay classy. Stay classy. Stay classy.